Greetings, this is I, the Dalek Emperor. Welcome to another Dalek Reacts. Today we are going to be reacting to Force Daleks What If video on What If the Da What If the Doctor used the Delta Wave? Yes, the same Delta Wave that was probably going to be used to destroy me. But unlikely. Anyway, so yes, this was made by Force Dalek. And I said that I was going to have a look at this, so all credit will go to Force Dalek. Let's observe it now. Okay, let us begin now, shall we? Now this will contain copyrighted footage. But I will make sure that all credit will go to the BBC for the footage and for Starlink for the video. Let's observe it now. It's ready. Time to die. Because if I activate the signal, every living creature dies. Oh, Doctor, the great exterminator! Yes. Do it. Yourself, Doctor. What are you, coward or killer? Well, apparently in this one, he's going to be a killer. Directly following the events where in this timeline Rose never returned for the Doctor and he detonated the Delta Wave, the Tyler family and of course Mickey spent several weeks in the TARDIS, helping Rose through her grief and through her ability to get the TARDIS working. Eventually the TARDIS responds and the Protocol 1 lock is broken. Rose travels with Mickey back to the future to find the Earth crisp to the core on one side and the Delta Wave reduced to atoms. Inconsolable, Rose attempts to return the TARDIS to Earth, but instead arrives in Scotland, 1879, where the pair encounter Queen Victoria and the werewolf. Putting an end to the troubles but causing the creation of the Tortured Institute, the two finally make it back to present day Earth, specifically December 24th. Oh. As Jackie runs to the sound of the TARDIS, Mickey and Rose exit, telling her of the death of the Doctor. However, Rose's mourning is cut short when the human race makes first contact. As events unfold, the three seek shelter in the TARDIS from the upcoming Sycorax apocalypse. Yes, However, oh damn. Rose needs to get more food, and the ship transports the TARDIS on board. On board the alien vessel, Rose and Mickey meet Prime Minister and part unit slash tortured commander, Harriet Jones. She introduces herself, but they know who she is. After learning of the death of the Doctor, Harriet orders her assistant to tell Torchwood to do it. Torchwood rushes to prepare and activates their alien weapons, blasting this sick Ah, I see, so this is kind of a paradox situation we got going on here. Um, so basically is what if the Daleks finally won and broke the Doctor to his core? Interesting premise. I like it. Okay, the um So basically the um events of Christmas Invasion 
still transpire. Luckily, Harriet, Mickey, and Rose all survived after escaping into the TARDIS, yes. which could withstand the tortured weaponry. On the ground, Rose is angered by Harriet, telling her this should have How does Rose know how to pilot the TARDIS? A small argument ensues, but nothing comes of it. Except for now, Rose learns of the mysterious Torchwood. Ah. Some months later, Mickey picks up leads on the school. Rose sneaks in as a dinner lady, where she encounters Sarah Jane Smith. I see. The two talk and discuss his passing, with Sarah and Rose agreeing to stick together and defend the human race. Using K-9, they hatch a plan and the Curlitane are quickly put to rest. Indeed. Sarah Jane and K-9. So it looks like school reunion events still transpire. Allowing them to more accurately pilot. The two begin so this is basically like turn left but worse. Deepened investigation into the Torchwood Institute. We can go two ways here. One where the events in the past don't happen, such as the Y never coming to Earth or the clockwork droids. Or another where Mr. Smith can detect timeline shifts, telling the pair where to go. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Ah. It's as you choose. The events of Love and Monsters take a different turn as all of the crew are absorbed, but the absorbal off is then quickly exterminated by Torchwood. As the ghosts arrive, Excellent. Sarah and Rose have all leads pointing towards Canary Wharf. But what the Cybermen won't do them any good. Not this time. Rose and her mother head to the TARDIS and plan to impersonate the Doctor, while Sarah Jane will sneak off board the TARDIS at a later time, hiding in another room. As the TARDIS lands and Rose steps out, she is welcomed by leader of Von Hartman. As Rose impersonates the Doctor, Jackie acting as her companion, and Mickey as an undercover employee of the company, they make their way through the building. Interesting. The TARDIS is secured, and Sarah makes her late exit. As Rose convinces Yvonne to stop the ghost shift, knowing the energy is not from this universe thanks to Mr. Smith, the Cyberman is contacted in the lower levels, as an intruder with a psychic caper and a sonic lipstick, claiming to be the Doctor, is caught near the void ship. But before questions oh can dear. be answered, the ghost shift is reactivated and the void ship radiates energy. As the Cybermen come through in the upper levels, down below, and of the course the Daleks arriving, and naturally Sarah knew what and who they were. Managing to stay alive with her clear knowledge of them and the fact she radiated Arctron energy, her and Mickey survived. But the tortured scientists. Yes, Arctron energy, the biggest weakness to the Daleks. Exterminated and drained of brainwaves. Upstairs, the Cybermen began their invasion and Rose made a call to Harriet. As unit troops stormed the top floor of the building, Rose, Jackie, ah. and were safe. Units shared their intelligence on the Cybermen with torture. Indeed, they know very. Very well of a the uh... learning of the Daleks downstairs, Yvonne contacted the Cyber Leader. Unit, Tortured, and the Cybermen then briefly joined forces and launched an attack on the Daleks. Damn. Rose and Jackie met up with an escaping Mickey and Sarah and then made it back. So basically Doomsday would have been um you you're, you're saying that Torchwood would have would have um been involved with this invasion as well. Well, this makes it, um, this kind of makes it ten times better without the Doctor's interference. Mr. Smith explained to the group that opening the gate will ensure I like this future, especially when it comes to the Doctor's defeat now. Rose and Sarah now all working much closer together. The Earth was far better defended. You can imagine that that um, Sec will find out that the Doctor is dead and he, like the rest of the cult, will achieve total victory. The unit easily taking care of the Ragnos, and Sarah investigating strange electrical impulses at a hospital in London. Uh, yes. However, with no alien blood to assimilate, the Jadoon failed their mission to locate their lost target. Oh dear. The hospital returned to Earth, but with everyone, including Sarah Jane, dead. Oh dear. Oh no, turn left again. We got turn left again, guys.
We couldn't breathe. We were running out of That isn't good news. Me, the last oxygen tank, Martha, and my Martha Jones. And she, she died. This woman who took control said she, she knew what to do, said she could stop the MRI or, or something. Sarah Jane, her name was Sarah Jane Smith. Sarah Jane Smith was a freelance investigative journalist, formerly of Metropolitan Magazine. Her body was recovered from the hospital late this afternoon. Oh dear. Oh, loss of a friend and ally, the group continued to defend the Earth. Remember, in this timeline, the Master would have never been reborn, meaning several events wouldn't be happening. Mm. And the Daleks invading the past also wouldn't have happened, as I believe the crew would have been able to act much faster in Doomsday, meaning the cult of Skara wouldn't have managed a temporal shift into the past. Indeed. The world was being taken care of and the Titanic events stopped much earlier thanks to Torchwood, the worlds kept on turning. The Adipose were made quick work of thanks to Yvonne, and month by month, year by year, the Earth continued spinning round with no Doctor. So much wouldn't happen. With no cult of Skara, there'd be no series 4 finale. With no Doctor, there would be no Big Bang. You could eat. So, my goodness. So, that means the Crucible wouldn't have been created and Davros would have died that day. You can go as far as to say this is a better future. Would have been better off if the Doctor. Yes, indeed. This this would have been better off without the Doctor's interference. Nice in parting of the ways. Yes. Countless invasions wouldn't have happened. Yes. So many more. Excellent. All of Series Six would cease to exist, as would. M Perhaps I should have travelled back in time and enabled the Delta Wave so that future could have happened. And the Daleks would achieve total victory. Oh, this gets better. Oh, yes. Destroying all of Unit Tortured, killing Rose, Jackie, Mickey, Mr. Smith, and even poor K9. And just like that, everyone would be dead. There's a nuclear warhead 20 feet beneath oh, us. Yes. Are you sitting comfortably? You would destroy London to save the world. Yes, I would. You're bluffing. You really think so? Somewhere in your memory is a man called Brigadier Alistair Gordon, Lethbridge Stewart. One word from you would cancel the countdown. Quite so. It's key to your voice print. Ah. No, not anymore. Cancel the detonation. Countermand it. Cancel the detonation. Countermand it. <laughs> oh, yes. And then after that, after the Earth is destroyed by the Black Archive's destruction, well, let's just say we will be giving Earth, uh, putting Earth in safe hands. So, not a happy ending for this one. I could do some wibbly wobbly thing here. Impressive. Or goes back to warn or save Nye, but that just feels a little bit too far fetched and fan fiction y. I can yeah. start writing these like that if you want, so just let me know. Make sure to leave. <laughs> I remember Daleks take over and conquer everything, basically. Suggestions down below and vote in the pinned comment for what you want to see next. Mm. Thanks and goodbye. Hmm, interesting. What if the Emperor survived in parting of the ways? That would be interesting. Yes, what if the Emperor survived and teleported to the Medusa Cascade to help Davros in his attack? Anyway, my fellow subjects, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Again, um, this, may con this contains copyrighted material, so uh, might need to do some little bits of editing. But anyway, farewell then. Thanks all for the enjoyable video today. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Dalek Empire. Or you will be exterminated. There will be no resistance.
Top Core!